Okay. Once again, today we are going to talk about link mechanism. With link mechanism, we are seeing that it's a mechanical link that is assembled bodies connected to manage forces and the movement. The movement of the body of a link is steady using a geometry. So the link is considered to be rigid. Now, with this one, we are seeing that with the link mechanism, we have the crank. We have the connecting rod and we have the sliding path. And as it is revolving in a circular motion, you can see that it is reciprocating from this direction from here to here. An elliptical circle is going to form around this side. So for us to start with the drawing, first we draw our crank. And the crank is having a diameter of 30 millimeters. And the connecting rod will have a distance of 130 millimeters and it's being pivoted at the side as 65 millimeters so now let's start drawing now first you have to draw our horizontal line first with the use of our 2 inch pencil because everything that you are going to do is going to be supposed to be faint so let's do our line and let's take our measurement from here to here 60 millimeters and 30. So we take a distance of 30 millimeters from the rule from this point to here. And let's turn at this portion here. Though it's 30, so let's open more than half of it. Let's open more than half of it. Stand here. Let's draw an arc. Let's draw an arc up and arc down. Let's draw another arc here up and down. So two arcs meet to become a bisector. So we join this point here and this point with a line. After that, we'll be getting a center here. So getting the center, we'll take the distance of 30 millimeters from here to here on our room. So at the midpoint of it, to see, to see. Then at the midpoint, you see again, then we come back again. Probably our circle is a little bit, a little bit bigger. So we have to take the measurement again. So let's take the distance from here to here, 30 millimeters again. Do our circle. Uh, circle. Good. After drawing the circle, we have to divide the circle into 12 equal parts. By maintaining the distance, let's go here A, from here, let's go here B, let's go here C, let's go here D. Draw an arc here, up and down, with the same distance, don't close. Come here, do another arc here, up and down here. Come to B, do arc here, up and down. After that, come to C, do arc here, up and down. After it's done, you have to join it with the center. Join from here to here with the center. Join from here to here with the center. Join from here to here with the center. Join from here to the center. Join from here to the center. Join from here to the center. from here to the center. Join from here to the center. After we've done, we have to mark our crank. So let's pick the crown from here. Let's pick the crown from here. And let's normalize. it. Let's go here one. Let's go here two. Let's go here three. Let's go here four. Let's go here five. Let's go here six. Let's go here seven. Let's go here eight. Let's go here nine. Let's go here ten. Let's go here eleven. Let's go here twelve. So this one, two, three. Now we know that our crank here is 30 millimeters. 
analytic a distance of 130 millimeters from the crown to the connecting rod 130 millimeters or 13 centimeters your measurement is supposed to be accurate in the HVA from one to this side good so after taking it let's call it one yeah one let's take another measurement from you to you 30 millimeters good let's go here too in here 30 130 millimeters Let's pick the distance from here to here. So we are going to have the same thing. So this is also going to be 4. Let's pick from here to here. Here is going to also going to be 5. 5. So 2 and 4 are 1, 1 and 5 are 2. Now let's look at 6. 130 millimeters. You have to make sure that your distance that you are taking is right. If you don't get your distance right, whatever you are going to do is going to be wrong. So let's go here 6. Let's pick from the 7. The connecting rod. Here, let's go here seven. Let's pick the eight hundred and thirty millimeters. So let's call it eight and let's pick nine. That's one hundred and thirty millimeters. Let's go here 9. And let's come to 10. One thing. So 10 and 8 are the same. So let's join it. Good. Let's go here 10. And let's go to 11. 11 and 8 suppose 11 and 8 supposed to match. Or 7 supposed to match. Now let's look at it. Yes, 11 and 7. So, so much. So let's do a line. So this level up. Then 12. 12 and 6. This is so much. So let's do a line from here to here. 6. So this is what? 12. Now after that, now this is our crown, this is our connecting rod. Now let's pick a place that it can be pivoted so that this side can slide from this point and here. So it's being pivoted at a distance of 65 millimeters. 65. 65 millimeters. So let's take 65 out. 65. So let's call it C1. Let's go to 2. Did we pick two? We didn't take the measurement of two. We picked it, but we didn't draw the line. And let's draw the line so that we can track it through it. So the two is supposed to be here. Go this 65 from here. So let's call it C2. And let's look at C3. 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 So the is six. Seven. Now let's look at four. Did we draw four, we did not. So that is thirty. In here to here. This is five is supposed to be here. So this will crank four. Now let's look at five. Sixty five from five.
55 so let's go here 6 this 5 c5 let's look at 6 where is 6 6 c5 this c5 a c6 and let's look c7 7 7 55 so C7, you got C8, C8, 55, C8, let's look at 9, 55, C9, let's look at C10. Ten. Let's look at um, eleven. Eleven sixty-five. See eleven. Twelve. There's a twelve. Obviously. Twelve. So see. Twelve. And let's draw the link together so that as a slider. It will form elliptic, uh, elliptical shape. Let's join it one after the other. One after the other. One after the other. In this case, this one you can use a French curve to join it. Join them together in year two, three, four, and four to five, and five to six. So, this is a simple and a basic link mechanism as we have a crank here, a connecting rod here. Connecting road here, and this is where it's being pivoted and it's going to slide for reciprocation to take place. So, in this case, this reciprocate motion, and this a sliding motion or sliding part. For the piston so this a common link mechanisms in this case as we have done next time we are going to continue with different types of link mechanism this is the basic one that is supposed to know before we can know thank you very much We'll meet another video. Bye.